Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm fine too. Welcome you all to NIEVS Home School. This is Mahmoud Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Today I'm going to take a Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of class 7. Our today's topic is chapter 1, lesson 7 and 8. Okay, the students will look at the board. This is the class for the students of class 7. A subject Bangladesh and Global Studies topic chapter 1 lesson 7 and 8 lecture number 4 I repeat again this is your lecture number 4 and this is your HW number 2 term half yearly teacher this is my name Mahmoud Rahman and this is my mobile number 01735 the students look at the board our tourist topic is disparity between East and West Pakistan disparity means our discriminations or differences the West Pakistani rulers never thought of the Bengalis as their own people Bengalis got all the discriminations since the birth of Pakistan the relation between the two wings was that of an exploiter and the exploited the East Pakistanis faced discrimination in every sphere of life like politics administration military economy education culture etc now we will uh, discuss the disparities one by one at first political disparity number one point is uh, Karachi of West Pakistan was selected as the first capital in the state of Dhaka though the population of East Pakistan was bigger than the population of West Pakistan as they uh, the West Pakistan is where in central government they declared Karachi as the capital of Pakistan number two in all positions the West Pakistanis were automatic choice including governor general prime minister and members of cabinet to different administrative posts the next point is in Ayub regime among 211 ministers in the central cabinet only 95 of them were Bengalis among 62 ministers only 22 were Bengalis that means you can see the uh, there were huge discriminations between the two wings of Pakistan they deprived of our uh, political rights now we will discuss on uh, disparity in administration Bengalis were deprived of joining appropriate higher administrative posts majority in the government service were held from west pakistan though the uh, uh, larger number of population uh, were from east pakistan the next point is bangladesh constituted only 23 percent of class one job holders that means uh, 77 percent of class one job holders were from west pakistan so uh, there were huge disparity in administrative sectors also now we will see the disparity in defense forces number one point only five percent of the officers in defense forces and only four percent personnel of the army were Bengalis number two sixty percent of the total budget was allotted to defense and maximum portion of it was expended in West Pakistan number three the three headquarters of Pakistan Defense Forces and Ordnance Factories were situated in West Pakistan. Now we will discuss on disparity in the economy. The head offices of all banks, insurances, commercial and industrial enterprises were situated in West Pakistan. Number two, 34 percent of foreign aid was allotted to East Pakistan. And number three, only 31% of whatever was imported from abroad was allocated to East Pakistan. And the next point is West Pakistan was developed by means of our money. That means we provided the money, we produced more money than the West Pakistan, but they transferred all the monies from East Pakistan to West Pakistan. So they became developed day by day. 2000 million dollars of the export oriented income from the east were transferred to west pakistan so you can uh, clearly imagine how did they uh, economically deprived us during that time 
cultural discrimination not only in economic administration and uh, politically they also discriminated us culturally in 1948 the west pakistanis wanted to impose urdu as the only state language as a result we had to sacrifice some valuable lives in 1952 to establish the right of our mother tongue the change in the name of east bengal to east pakistan the next point is there were attempts to write bangla in urdu alphabet broadcasting rabindra sangeet on radio and television and observance of bangla new year were forbidden so dear students you can see that there were huge discrimination and the west pakistan is inflicted all kinds of disparities towards the people of east pakistan in political in administrative sectors in economy and in culture also they deprived us from our due rights so what were the consequences of these disparities now we will uh, see the reaction against discrimination how did the east pakistani people reacted we from the beginning of the birth of uh, pakistan we faced the discrimination from the west pakistanis and we could realize that there is uh, no other choice than uh, uh, making a new and free nation for ourselves so in 1952 the language movement was the initiation of anti-pakistan agitation it was the first movement which began with the uh, right of uh, mother tongue the Bengalis had their first taste of power in 1954 by defeating the muslim league by, uh, for, by the formation of jukta front and winning the election uh, in 1954 we the, the Bengalis have the taste of power for the first time though that government lasted for only 56 days it was a signal that uh, we could we could make a change cultural movements were more stimulated with the birth of china in 1961 china was established and it, in, it uh, stimulated the cultural movements in 1966, the Six Points the proposal was a plan to get rid of all discriminations and attempt to run a new country. You can see that uh, in our previous classes, we discussed about Six Point movements. You can see that uh, all the uh, rights and uh, uh, opportunities of a new, uh, new and sovereign country are described in this Six Point movement. So, this movement was a very important towards the independence of Bangladesh. The mass uprising forced the government to uh, withdraw a strict Agartala case. You know that Agartala case was filed against Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and uh, other political leaders. There were 40, uh, no, there were 35 uh, uh, leaders who were accused and uh, accused in this case and uh, the mass uprising of 1969 forced the government to withdraw this case in 1970 election the awami league got victory which was a signal to independence in 1970 general election awami league won the election in uh, uh, with a huge victory over uh, muslim league out of 169 uh, seats awami league got 167 seats so you can see how much the mass people supported Awami League in this election. And finally, in exchange of the blood of 30 lakh martyrs, we got independence on 16 December 1971. And so this was the reaction of uh, Bangladesh towards the disparities and discriminations inflicted by the West Pakistanis. We never uh, tolerated it, we tried to again and again to show our uh, might and power and we revolted against this dissimilarities and disparities so dear students uh, this is all of, uh, from today's uh, discussion i hope that all of you have understood uh, today's topic if you have any problem and uh, any question you can ask me through my mobile number and you have uh, hw homework from this uh, lesson seven and eight you will make five mcq five multiple choice question is your homework 
you will submit your homework on every Saturday from 9 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. Okay, so see you in the next class. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.